All right, so this is gonna be take two of this video. Should you or should you not band your goat's horns? It's a loaded question. I decided to try it out and I think yes, you should if that's your only option, but it's not as simple as people say it is and it definitely causes some discomfort. It definitely causes some discomfort to the goat when you place the band on and it causes some discomfort to the goat when the band starts doing its job. Um, and what I mean when the band starts doing its job is when the band starts digging into the flesh and literally separating that horn from their skull. As you can see, I have a uni horn over here. And uh, pretty much the same thing happened to him that's going on over here with Dipper. Dipper is experiencing some pain. As you could tell, he's kind of staying away from everybody and not really wanting to be around anybody. Um, and that's because I was over here checking him out because I seen the horn fell off of Don K over here. And so I, I threw some grain down on the spool to get him all to come in. And I accidentally spooked him and he banged his horns on the top. So that is one of the dangers that could happen when you're banding them. If they're not fully at the stage where the horn starts to come off, they could damage their horn and they could bleed to death. Luckily, it damaged his horn, pulled it up a little bit, and uh, caused him to bleed a little bit. Oh, this guy's coughing. All right, this guy's eating some hay off the floor, and uh, I don't know if it went down the wrong pipe or what's going on. Maybe he has lungworm. Maybe I should give him another dose of ivermectin. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, luckily when he bumped his his horns on the top of that, it literally just lifted his horn away from his skull and the band went right to work. It started just banding that horn and the bleeding stopped almost immediately. Took, I don't know, probably about three minutes total that it was bleeding. But um, when it first started, uh, you could see a steady, not steady, I would say a steady drip coming from his face and his horn. Um, and that's one of the things that does happen. Uh, it's normal, I guess. Uh, pretty much what I've been reading, what's been going on, and it seems like it's pretty accurate because it's been my experience as well. Um, once that band goes to work and starts doing its job, the bleeding stops, and now these goats can go ahead and get it. Sorry, my neighbor was going by. Um, once the bleeding stops, then they're good to go. So it's nice to have a watchful eye on that. But unfortunately, if you're not home or if you're not around and they bump that horn off, they could definitely bleed to death. Another thing I was worried about is apparently when they become pretty large, when their horn comes off, they leave a really empty space, like a really large empty space in the sin sinus cavity and uh, you have to pack it in because if you got flies and stuff it's a great area for infection to set and flies to lay their eggs and then you got a dead goat but luckily we don't have to deal about any of that we don't have to deal with any of that because his horn came off and he didn't have any hole in his sinus uh even though he has a you know he had pretty large horns already so it does work but this is essentially just part one of many parts because we've done the banding, we've seen the results, but will they stay? Will they stay hornless? 
And that is the question.